welcome to the War Rogers Union channel. Thank you for watching. All right, let's go and spectate Pokemon Mo's Autumn Showdown Qualifier number three. All right, Blue Breath vs. Megalez. So I'm gonna wish both of you luck from the Roy Rogers News channel. And we'll be right back on that note. All right, we are back. Turn number one, Blue Gym vs. Megalez. Let's go ahead and start off with the Victory Bell and Stantler. Now, um, Stantler could do return, but Victory Bell could switch, depending on Victory Bell's a little bit of a risky one. All right, so Stantler, all right, I was kind of close, double edge. It's either gonna be double edge or return anyways. Okay, so I'm going to predict that Stantler is, well, well, uh, Shuckle is really good in the defense department. So knowing that, I'm going to predict, yeah, that, that Stantler is going to switch. All right, so Shuckle's going to knock off the leftovers. By the way, uh, for any of you that hear static in the mic, I apologize. This only happens if I'm on the road, so I apologize for that. Uh-oh. -uh. Uh, sorry about that. That, no, that was uh, the intercom lady in the car. Anyways, uh, back um, uh, back to the match. Sorry about that. My, minor construction. Anyways, um, back to the match. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure you all don't care about the construction. Uh, that's that's here. All right. So, Victory Bell. Victory Bell is going to switch. What? Shuckle could do a knockoff. I don't know. Yes knockoff. I predicted that move right away because you kind of know if a Pokemon's going to switch or not. Uh, well, you kind of know and you kind of don't know. It's just kind of a, a gut instinct. Uh, so Blue Jim kind of felt the same way as I did, so he predicted the switch, so he knocked off. Alright, so what is Raichu going to do? Well, Shuckle is going to switch into Victory Bell. Raichu is going to do a Protect for some reason. Knowing that that has Protect, I can probably tell you that it has Wish. I'm not sure about that, but it probably has Wish. If it has Protect, it has Wish. Uh, it usually has Wish. I've rarely ever seen a Raichu hold Protect without holding Wish. I mean, they, they go together like peanut butter and jelly. Alright, so... Um, does Raichu have HP Ice? I don't know. Victory Bell could try to go a little bit of a, uh, well, uh, a bit daring, and it could go into, oh, oh, a Sword Stance uh, Victory Bell, interesting. This is a completely offensive Victory Bell. I, uh, I think I think this victory bell has sludge bomb. I'm not too sure if it learns return or no wait, it doesn't have sludge bomb. No, uh, I keep thinking about the physical special split. Leaf blade, yes. Wow, I said it right right when the move was was there. It probably has, we know it as leaf blade now, but it probably has. Um, can can victory bell learn return? I think it can. Uh, victory bell. There, there we go. We just, we just saw the the return. Now I'm trying to wonder what the third move is. And by the way, uh, the lost. I'm sorry if if my description blocked it. Uh, oh, there's a policeman. Apparently, he's running after someone. Like I said, I'm on the road. Sorry about that. Anyways, so victory bell is going to do a synthesis and. Uh, Bell Awesome's gonna also be uh, uh, a synthesis. Okay, so okay, offensive moves. Victory Bell can learn Leaf Blade, and it can learn uh, Return. You know that. Uh, 
trying to wonder what other offensive moves Victory Bell can learn. Okay, so... Let's see, maybe... Um... Well... We know that this Victory Bell carries Synthesis. We do know that. So... Yeah. Now Victory Bell is probably predicting uh, and a potential Ice Punch, or Psychic. Or, well, yeah, Psychic. Man, I keep forgetting about the physical special split. Sorry about that. Uh, Alright, so, Psychic's there. Alright, so I'm going to predict the Thunderbolt. Um, I like the bus. Thunderbolt, right? Shockwell's going to try to do a Toxic. Okay. I want to predict an, either another Thunderbolt or Switch. From Electabuzz. Now from Shuckle, I am kind of thinking that... Uh, I'm not too sure if Electabuzz has been knocked off yet. If not, I think Shuckle's probably going to do that. Or if Electabuzz switches... Shuckle can have the chance to knock off something. Alright, so... Uh, both... Rage, or sorry, both uh, Electabuzz and... Uh, Shuckle have switched concurrently. Both people switch... Sorry, both Blue Jim and uh, Megalez has switched into Rage Shoots. Blue Breath has a shiny Raichu, and Meg Megalith has a normal Raichu. Okay, so we have a wish here. Like I said, if a Raichu has Protect, it usually has Wish. That is the that is the gold standard of of uh, Raichu um, Raichu semantics. There we go. Or Raichu laws, lo logic. Okay, so slick Rick. Okay, that was smart. Now I'm not too sure if this. I don't think this Raichu has HP grass, does it? Eh, if it did, then it would have done it. Ooh, Tropius. I haven't seen Tropius in NU for quite a while. Huh. That's interesting. Wow, I look forward to seeing what, what Blue Jim could do with, with Tropius. Um, actually, since I haven't seen Tropius too much, I think it'd be good if I, if I brief up on the stats. Alright, so attack stat is 68 and special attack stat is 72. But Tropius is going to decide to try to buff up its 68 base stat for attack. And then what's going to happen is Tropius is going to keep building on that Dragon Dance. Victory Bell is probably going to do a Sludge Bomb predicting either another Dragon Dance or Aerial Ace or something like that. And considering the fact that Tropius is a Grass and Flying type, that is going to hit Victory Bell Stab and that's going to hit it really, really hard. Now, I don't know who's faster. I think Tropius is faster because of the D-Dance. Um, yeah. That's gonna hurt. And that's gonna hurt. And Victory Bell knocked out Tropius. Okay, so both people knocked out one Pokemon of their respective parties. The difference between Blue Jim and Megalos is that Megaliz doesn't really have much of a surprise. Blue Jim can now kind of expect what's going to happen next. As for Megaliz's behalf, he doesn't know what these two Pokemon are, so it's still going to be a bit of a surprise for him. Uh, Alright, so... Kadabra is going to be there. Kadabra is really, really fast. I mean... <laughs> I mean, just to give you some perspective, 
a lot of people run Timid uh, 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 Alakazam, which is the full uh, the fully evolved version of Kadabra. So uh, I don't think Kadabra would be too different because Kadabra can just run uh, the nature on it as Timid. Well, usually most for Kadabras have Timid nature, which means that there's a high boost for speed. It's all about the speed, speed, baby, speed. And you have a lot of people emphasize that most Pokemon should have 31 speed, uh, for the exception of walls, because who cares about walls? But uh, but if it's something like Kadabra or Starmie or Jolteon or Aerodactyl or some sort of Pokemon that depends on that speed boost, you need 31 in that in that IV count for speed. All right. Sandler's Intimidate's not going to really do too much. I'm going to predict that Kadabra uh, is either going to switch or is he going to do a Psychic. Stantler could do a Mega Horn just to do all-round damage. But Blue Jim could switch into Shuckle predicting a possible Mega Horn. And even if Stantler does Double Edge Return, it still won't hit Shuckle as hard. There we go. Shuckle was a little obvious here because... Sh because uh, Stantler is a really heavy hitter in NU. Alright. So, what's going to happen here? Stantler. Stantler's going to switch into Electabuzz. Alright. Shuckle's going to do the Toxic, but Electabuzz is already poisoned. I'm going to predict that Electabuzz is probably going to do a Thunderbolt. I mean, I could, I could just see it coming. All right, so Shuckle's going to switch into Shiny Raichu, predicting what I'm predicting, which is a Thunderbolt. All right, so what is Raichu going to do? Well, Raichu, um, well, I mean, Electabuzz, I think it's going to switch into Slicky Rick or whatever the name with Cash has. All right, so Raichu's going to do an extreme speed, which, which, really, which hurt really, really bad. Uh, on Raichu's behalf, or not Raichu, sorry, on uh, uh, Electabuzz's behalf, but but the Thunderbolt hit really hard. All right. So so far the match is looking kind of kind of promising for for Blue Jim. I mean, considering the fact that that the the Megalith has kind of exposed his cards a little early, is not a good sign for. For, for Megalez. Uh, Electabuzz, in Gen 1 at least, was the f is the fastest electric type. Now knowing that Electabuzz and, and uh, Electro... Sorry, Electrode is the fastest Pokemon in Gen 1, but um, knowing that Electabuzz and uh, Electrode share a generation, that means Electabu uh, uh, Electabuzz is slower than Electrode. Electrode is really, really fast. You'd don't want to mess with an Electrode, especially if he has really, really good special attack. You don't want to mess with an Electrode. So, I think the only thing faster than Electabuzz is a uh, is is a Ninjask. Yeah, the only Pokemon faster than Electrode is. A ninjask. <laughs> Man. And that says a lot. Ooh, nice. Blue Jim setting up ground here. He's setting up the ground. Blue Jim has a really good ground game here. Okay, so Whiskash is going to try to do a Dragon Dance. Whiskash is going to try to get to some boosts out of the way. Shuckle's going to do an Encore, which means that for Whiskash, he's going to have to expect a Victory Bell coming in and a possible Leaf Blade. Yeah, not the best thing for, for Whiskash to uh, to be Encored on. Yeah, I think I think Megalith kind of saw the, the writing on the wall. So, Shuckle's going to switch into... Victory Bell. Victory Bell 
I don't know if Blue Jim wants that victory bell out there. Uh, it's going to be a little bit risky considering the fact that that Stantler is such a heavy hitter in NU. Okay, so double edge. It's not going to be very effective. But look at how much it's doing to Shuckle. Shuckle's really good in defense. And it's also a bug rock. So, you know, the second typing is rock. So that means that it it's not effective. Double edge is not effective. Uh, but Stantler has stab going for it. So, yeah. All right. So, Stantler... Mm, Stantler could switch or could just continue spamming double edge. I don't think that, uh, that that's going to be a, uh, a smart idea. Okay, so Raichu is going to come in and Shuckle is going to do a Toxic, but the Toxic has missed. Okay, so what is Raichu going to do? Raichu could do a Protect here. So that way, say, um, say Megalas can PP stall the uh, the Shuckle. He's gonna try to do a minor PP stall here, which Blue Jim doesn't really want to engage in. So he's predicting a protect, which did not happen. Rachel just wanted to knock out Shuckle entirely. Um, So now we know the set of this victory bell. So it's Sword Stance, Leaf Blade, Return, and Synthesis. That's actually a pretty good set. As you have uh, Attack Boost plus a Healing Move. That's great. Alright, so Raichu is going to faint. But there is going to be a... Uh, there is going to be a caveat to... Victory Bell knocking out Raichu, and that's that Victory Bell is going to have to be paralyzed for the rest of the match. And I don't see any clerics in Blue Jim's team, so he's going to have to deal with a paralysis. And Stantler successfully uh, wiped away uh, Victory Bell. All right, so I'm going to predict a, uh, either Electrode or Kadabra. Something faster than Stantler, so Stantler can be knocked out. Or Shuckle. Although, maybe Blue Jim might want to keep Shuckle for Whizcash. I don't know. All right, so... I, my, my gut was telling me Kadabra, so I kind of knew that that... I thought that, that cadaver is going to come in. Now I'm going to predict the psychic. Just straight up psychic. Because Stab stab can knock out either Stantler or Whizcash, depending on how much special attack there is. But Stantler is going to beat Kadabra in the speed tie. So Electabuzz should be able to knock out Stantler. But Megalez is probably going to switch into Whizcash, predicting a Thunderbolt. Or. Blue Jim's is going to go into Shuckle, predicting another double edge. Um, Electabuzz is a pretty fast Pokemon. But nice. Nice. The leftovers are knocked off, so that means Shuckle can do a really good stall here. Whew. That's, that's a good play, Blue Jim. I got to say, that, that that's a really good play. Um, which means now that Whizcash can't really counteract the toxic uh, poison progression. There's the Encore. Oh boy. Whizcash is going to be forced to use Waterfall throughout the entire match. Which, which Shuckle, which, which Shuckle could, could do a rest. Um, could could do a rest here. Uh, Shuckle, um, after doing rest, uh, Shuckle should be able to wall off the waterfalls pretty effectively. Alright, so Shuckle did faint. Shuckle wasn't able to rest. But the good news for, for Blue Jim is that 
he has a bit of a head start on Whizcash. He can he can now start to knock out Whizcash, although it is going to be uh, slightly uh, difficult doing that. So yeah, it's it's going to be a bit a bit more. All right. It's going to be a bit difficult for Electabuzz to knock out. I mean, could he do it? I don't know. Wizcash is going to immediately do the Earthquake, which is going to break the substitute. And... And... Wizcash has fainted. Now... Blue Jim, I think, is going to win. I think he is going to win this due to the fact that Electabuzz is a speed monster in Gen 1, and in Gen 2, <laughs> it's still a speed monster. Okay, so I don't think Electabuzz was trained in speed. Otherwise, otherwise he would have won that if, if Electabuzz was timid and 252 speed, Electabuzz would have knocked out Stantler by now. But since, since Blue Gym didn't really do much of an emphasis on speed, Stantler was able to uh, to take over the match, considering the fact that Stantler is uh, jolly and 252 speed. You can tell who did more speed investment. All right. So the final match is going to be Lifestyle vs. Uh, Megalo uh, Meg Megales Megales. There we go. And we will be right back on that note. Good luck to both of you. All right, we are back. The finals match. Lifestyle vs. Megales. For any of you that have fast forward, because I know some of you have, uh, for the finals match, I'm going to I'm going to tell you all this that uh, uh, if if you all hear a static mic, I. I am on the road, and usually when I do these road trips, uh, the mic is usually quite static. So, disclaimer out of the way, let's go and get to the meat of the of the battle. Alright, so I'm going to predict that, that, that Pinsir... Um, Pinsir could... I'm not too sure if Pinsir wants to do an earthquake or not. I'm not sure if this Pinsir is even banded. I, th I think it is. I think I think this pincer is banded, and and on that note, I think pincer is going to do uh, earthquake, but I think muck is probably going to switch. Danger doom. Uh, hmm. I wonder if he's a fan of a prominent YouTuber. It's a guy from Australia that makes top lists. Uh. It's the guy with the blue painting cap. Uh, Dolan, there we go. Danger Dolan. Uh, I wonder if he's a fan of his or something. Because the name sounds so familiar. Anyways. Uh, so Muck is going to switch. And I kind of knew that Pinsir would do an Earthquake. I kind of knew that. Uh, because Lifestyle is more of the, of the gotcha type of guy. Uh, but Ernie sees a... Pokemon, and Ernie sees a move that's super effective. He usually, usually wants to do it immediately. I mean, I mean, sometimes he'll predict um, Pokemon that 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 might try to uh, dodge the earthquake, depending on uh, depending on uh, the match progressing. All right, so uh, so Victory Bell is here. Victory Bell. If I remember correctly, in the previous match against Blue Gym, this Victory Bell has Sludge Bomb, or and I think is a special, uh, special set. Or wait a minute, it's Sunny Day, but it, it, it could still have Sludge Bomb. Anyways, I'm gonna predict the Solar Beam here. I mean, if it's doing Sunny Day, it usually has Solar Beam. Sword Stance. Sunny Day and Sword Stance. That's uh, a little odd. <laughs> no, I've never seen that. To be completely honest with you, I've never seen that. 
And I'll be honest, it's a little bit, um, I don't know, out of the ordinary. <laughs> but it did do the trick, though. It knocked off Flareon, or, sorry, knocked out Flareon. Sorry about that. Knockoff is a move uh, that Shuckle commonly has. Alright, so what's going to be next? I'm going to predict that that don't that uh, that lifestyle might have I mean if he has a grass Pokemon with with chlorophyll this might be the perfect opportunity to put the grass type in especially if it's a grass poison type uh, depending on if uh, victory bell I don't think victory bell has hidden power fire but but you need a good bulky grass type to be able to take the, the return. Bill Awesome could fit the bill for this. Uh, um, but it's probably going to be very, very risky. I'm trying to think of what other options. The lifestyle is obviously uh, in the same trouble as I am to a certain extent. Alright, so lifestyle is going to pull off a victory bell here. Lifestyle is going to try, I think he's going to try to do a sludge bomb here. I seriously, seriously see that coming. And, uh, <laughs> and Megalas thought he saw that coming, and I thought I saw that coming, but, but that was a nice weather ball, actually. I like the way how Lifestyle, he, he dished out the same pain as Megalas did. Wow. This match is really getting intense quite quickly. Alright, Danger Doom is going to switch into Raichu, and I'm going to predict Weather Ball, right? Weather Ball. Alright, so... I'm going to predict probably a Giga Drain or Sludge Bomb, depending on if Lifestyle is willing to risk the fact that Raichu could have uh, HP Ice or something. Ooh, sunny day. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Wow. What a nice lifestyle you got there. And yes, the pun was intended. Okay. Ice punch. Whoa. Monk did a knockout blow. That's impressive. Alright, so, uh, what's going to be next? M Muck is here at the moment. <laughs> Alright, let's see, let's see what's, uh, what's next. Uh, earthquake, Earthquake, I know, Earthquake, I just, I see it. Earthquake, 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 uh, Earthquake. I, I'm going to, uh, either Earthquake or double edge or something like that I I'm seriously thinking earthquake because looking at the field right now it earthquake does neutral damage to victory bell it's super effective to rate ship and it's definitely super effective against mock so I don't see any uh, well at least if I was doing the match I won't see any qualms in doing earthquake in the match uh, Especially if if I'm being given this sort of intelligence on my opponent. All right, so Mach is probably going to switch it now. If if Megalas has Firo or some sort of flying type, that would be a great time to just go into your flying type because uh, I think Megalas is kind of thinking here. Uh, he, he better he better come back. Come on, Megalas. 15, 14, 13, okay. Monk is going to switch into Victory Bell. There we go. The reason why I said Earthquake, 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 Earthquake is because my gut was telling me that. My, 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 a lot of times my gut tends to be correct, but sometimes, sometimes... Uh, very few times my, my gut is wrong about this. And sometimes I go against my gut, which is where I kind of get into trouble at times. Um, 
so there's Diglett. Okay, now I'm not too sure if Pincer's going to do an earthquake or not. I, I mean, I think he's kind of forced to. All right, nice try, Diglett. Nice try, but but uh, but but Pincer is a little stronger and it's a little bit more bulky. All right, so earthquake on the way. I'm gonna see. All right, Raichu is gonna do protect. This is probably the wish. Raichu usually you don't carry protect without wish, so now we know that this is a a wish set. Raichu. All right, so and very very few times does does Raichu ever uh, ever go around uh, uh, without uh, either wish or protect. I still have one of the moves. Very, very, very few times. Alright, so Raichu is going to switch into Blastoise. Pinsir is going to do, do an Earthquake, but Pinsir, I think, is going to probably switch at this point. I mean, I don't see why Pinsir is going to stay around, considering the fact that it's banded. Well, it's probably banded, considering how much damage it's doing. Uh, so... Life Chew. That's kind of an interesting name to it. To it. All right. So I want to predict that Blastoise is going to switch into Raichu, predicting a Thunderbolt. The, the Thunderbolt is on the way. Or Volt Tackle. But it still do a. It's real. It still did a pretty heavy blow towards Megalos. Megalez is going to try to protect here, try and get the leftover recovery. Lifestyle is just going to go all in. He's just going to go for Vault Tackle. He doesn't care anymore. He's just going to bam, bam, bam the Raichu. Oh. Um, sorry about that. I'm just kind of uh, uh, impersonating uh, Lifestyle's uh, mind right now. His mind is saying to him, I want to kill this Raichu. Ah! So, he, so what he's going to do is he's probably going to do another Vault Tackle, isn't he? Yep. <laughs> so you, you, I, you can kind of you can kind of tell what's what's going to go on here. Because, you know, I've, I can kind of tell because I've been commentating for several well, actually, several tournaments. Uh, so you can kind of tell how some of these people kind of think. And as for Lifestyle, I think he's kind of thinking you know, I'm, I need to knock out this Raichu. I, I hate seeing it. I, I need to kill it right now. Megalez probably has absolutely no idea what's going on in Lifestyle's mind. Um, he's just like, eh, I'm going to keep my Raichu here. I'm going to hope that, that uh, you know, that I can just stall him some way, somehow. Um, his hope is that he can do a wish and protect. Unfortunately for, for Megalez, he has no idea what's actually going on. L lifestyle is actually he's trying to uh, he's trying to go for blood he's 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 like he's like um, he's like yeah I, I, I see this rate you I want to knock it out um, so Megalas now is like okay well at least I did wish wow lifestyle wow I, I really I mean, I don't know, I just, uh, I predicted his mind pretty well. <laughs> you know, he's, he's like, he's, he's really out for blood here. Uh, and I think it's now becoming a little bit obvious at this point, especially for, for Migalas, that, you know, that he's obviously out for blood now. Lifestyle is out for blood. Okay. Since it's getting a little bit obvious, Lifestyle switched into Pinsir. And he just, you know, I'm going to probably predict what's going to go on in his mind. His mind is probably telling him, knock out Raichu now. Knock out Raichu now. Knock out Raichu now. And I'm going to predict that Raichu is going to switch into Blastoise because Megalas, his mindset is like, oh boy, maybe I can stall him off with this, with this Raichu set. So he's going to switch into Blastoise predicting the Earthquake and the Wish Recovery. Nice. So... You know, 
so with uh, Megalus's objective at this point is to kind of stall off lifestyle. I'm not too sure if he's trying to PP stall him, but I can't tell you this. He's trying to stall him out. All right. One minor problem, though. Someone needs to have Toxic. <laughs> Someone just needs to have Toxic. Blastoise is going to do Water Sprout, which... Uh, uh, I mean, you can run it on an offensive Water type, but... Blastoise is more of a defensive tank rather than an offensive Pokemon, so... Yeah, it didn't really hit too well. Alright, so I'm going to predict that Raichu's probably going to do... Uh, I don't think I don't think Raichu wants to do anything. Because if Pinsir does Earthquake, oh boy, something bad is going to happen. Raichu's probably going to get a one-shot. So Raichu knows this. I know this. So, so there we go. So Semigalus has decided to sack his muck. And now he's between Raichu and Blastoise, and if you can... If, by golly, he needs Toxic. He desperately needs Toxic. <laughs> if he wants to play Stall, then he has to have Toxic. Because if you don't have Toxic, then otherwise, things are going to go very, very slow in the, in, the, in, the, uh, in the battle here. I mean, okay. If that was an offensive water type... Pencer would have been near death or just knocked out. So, <laughs> wow, I don't know what to say here. I'm at a loss of words. This Raichu probably has Thunderbolt, right? I, I think it does. Which I think Polygrass is probably going to switch into Raichu, predicting a Thunderbolt. I think Polygrass is kind of needed. To a certain extent, in order to really counteract Blastoise. I mean, it's pretty much a one-man show. So Ritchie is predicting a switch. Wow, that's for lifestyle. That, that was a little. That don't a little bit. That that was quite daring. I gotta say that that's really daring. All right, so the Thunderbolt is gonna knock out or not knock out the substitute but not polyrath polyrath is gonna do an earthquake and at this point polyrath can now sweep and i'm gonna predict that that lifestyle lifestyle is probably going to win this match and it's going to determine it's going to determine the match it's going to determine and the reason why the reason why i say that is because Raichu cannot cannot knock out Raichu at that range. Uh, uh, sorry, Raichu cannot knock out Polyrath at that range. Sorry about my overexcitement here. I'm just... There we go. I'm just saying that Polyrath belly drums, there's no way that that, uh, that the Megalith is going to really, uh, really counteract that too well. So, on that note... Congratulations, Lifestyle, and this is the Roar Rogers Jr. channel. Don't forget to comment or subscribe to my channel, like or dislike the content that you see here. And this is the Roar Rogers Jr. channel, so I know fast, accurate, unbiased Roy Rogers News.